sample making is emerging as a key area of design research. In this context, knowledge is created through a fast-paced process of thinking through making samples to investigate new materials, emerging technologies, and ways of working with and through digital fabrication machines. The knowledge created through sample making is distributed across the whole social technical system of production. Each sample or collection of samples can be used to gather insights related to applications, programming, skill, technique, materials, and so on. And each of them might be used to explore different possibilities of fabrication and thus embody completely different qualities. Unpacking such design processes while appreciating the potentials of each sample is difficult. And this is reflected in the way that we report such processes. The difficulty of reporting all that happens during a making process often leads designers to describe their journeys from a perspective of a final sample as a reached goal. A narrative of how this goal was achieved might include more detailed account of the samples or experiments that contribute directly to the success, while others might be unaccounted for or summarized as part of an exploratory phase. Rather than discarding such experiments, we propose for our previous work that we look at making as an activity akin to traveling and in which case failures could become opportunities of new journeys. What we mean is that when we travel, we embrace detour. We allow emerging opportunities to affect our plans. When we see something interesting or a cool place to go, we will spontaneously change our plans, or at least if we cannot do that, we will make notes to come back another time. We'll take photos and we might tell our friends about these places. So why not do the same with our material samples? These detours could be a failures in a project in the sense that they are not suitable to the main inquiry that we are engaging at the moment. But they could also be a quick exploration or serendipitous encounters with other makers that co-inhabit our timeline. By calling them loose ends instead of failures, we suggest that such samples can be revisited and carried over to new journeys. Loose ends are the unexpected samples we make when we create time to make things, to collaborate with the social technical system, when we appreciate what's at hand and really ask, what did we make? In this pictorial, we illustrate this practice through four samples as cases of such collaborations. These samples were created in opportunistic collaborations alongside other more oriented processes. The process of sample making here followed the simple rules of becoming travelers, create time to make things, collaborate with people, the ideas, tools, and materials, and be systematic about the documentation. The main intention was staying lost in the thick of making, letting collaborations happen organically by working in person in the lab and acting on new opportunities as they presented themselves. In our pictorial, we described how each of these collaborations took place through design memoir pages, followed by their corresponding documentation page. We see documentation as an actionable tool for new developments and documenting as a lively process of reflection and action that can be refined over time. It can also be revisited over time. The documentation format that we propose combines reporting styles and it seeks to make explicit the data that would normally be distributed and often hidden between digital fabrication machines, digital files, and a designer. In doing so, we aim to facilitate revisiting samples within a design journey so we can understand what role they played in that process, but also to appreciate each of them as a standalone sample. This pictorial also proposes a new way of sharing sample work in the pictorial format itself. A vector file of each sample is embedded in the pictorial PDF as an underlayer of the design memoir pages. We propose this as a way of using our publications as actionable archives, independent of external links or supplemental materials. Readers are invited to become travelers by taking our loose ends forward into new journeys. The workflow for how to extract the vectors is detailed in the pictorial. By reflecting on the four design memoirs, we identify the figure of the fellow traveler. The fellow traveler is a metaphor we use to describe the process of co-inhabiting the timeline and a journey while ultimately having a divergent goal. As a fellow traveler, we might share the world for a bit, but at some point we go our separate ways when our paths diverge. In the context of making as a traveler, this means fellow travelers are people, ideas, and machines are available for new collaborations. In this pictorial, we focus on the process of making with human fellows and their samples. The four cases of loose ends we shared in this pictorial allowed us to consider the implications of the practice of making us travelers in three aspects. Samples as outcomes of a community of practice, 
ways of traveling, and the role of documentation. In these, we recognize the role of the lab as a social technical system that offers opportunities for new work to flourish. And this is both through its infrastructure, by having the machines and certain basic materials available, but also, and more importantly, the permeability of the community of practice that forms around it. Recognize that being able to sit together and look at each other's work, look through maybe documentation or open software files, uh, but then just ask directly questions to the maker to be an extremely valuable point to this practice. Co-presence also relates to different ways of traveling. Through our stories, we can see that by being together in the same space, different relationships can emerge between travelers. Traveling together could be done by sharing advice or sharing resources, which we called our uh, tour guides. Um, but it could also be really making together, synchronously and asynchronously through turn taking. This leads us to think whether co-presence is the limitation of this practice. Could we extend it further? We believe it would be possible to extend the notion of making as traveling if we take into account the role of documentation. We hope that the documentation and dissemination strategies that we present through this work support others into getting more directly engaged with the samples shown here. These and other ways of documenting and sharing should be considered in order to expand this practice. To conclude, in this pictorial, we present four samples and the stories behind our making as contributions to the field of digital craftsmanship. We reflect on the implications of making as travelers, give recommendations for how to nurture a practice of explorative making, and we propose a way of documenting samples so they can be revisited within and outside the design process in which they were created. We expect that through the telling and reflection of these stories, we can support opening opportunities for cross-pollination through samples, which in turn can lead us in the direction of transforming our labs and communities into more flexible and permeable systems.